Hello and welcome back to Stellaris. So, before we get into too much this time, I would like to say thank you to Nickel in the comments because, well, they have fixed one of our issues. It's an issue that has plagued us for a long time. Our name is Federation. And now, this is also called Federation. We could have clicked to rename it at any moment. We're still losing XP? That's worrying. Uh, we'll look at that. You know what? Let's look at that now. Why are we losing XP? Uh, we are losing one XP every uh, month. Why? Uh, we are losing it because XP generated from cohesion. Wait, okay. So we have two envoys. Cohesion is going up each month. Okay. But because our cohesion is still negative, that's why we're losing XP. So in 14 months, our cohesion will be positive and we'll be gaining XP, I think. Yeah, because I think this was negative 3 at some point, right? No, but that would have meant we would have gained XP. Anyway, whatever. I think we're doing fine on that. I don't think that's an issue. Timed project. Yep, that's the debris. Uh, Where are our ships? Ships are here. Okay. We need a little bit more power, I think, in them. Our alloys are our main thing that's causing us problems. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll just chill. Yeah, just chill a second. Um, Technology we, oh. discovered. Okay, we were denied access to the place that we thought we were going to be denied access to. Where's my science ship? It's gone missing. Okay, so it's in, in transit. What have we discovered? Nano machines. Oh, yeah. Okay, what are we getting now? Corvette hull points would be huge for us, potentially. Basic strike craft? Okay. Uh, so they're launched from mothership and relay their speed and small size to survive long enough to punch through enemy defenses. Okay. And we can also put those on star bases. Uh, planet build speed's not a problem for us right now. I'm going to cor Corvette hull points. Corvettes are our main thing, and we want them to be strong. We're denied access. They are returning... Uh, to uh, Procyon, which is where? Uh, oh, I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we'll find them when they come back. Missing in action, it's not really that much of a missing one. You're building an excellent. Yep, I think so. That's okay. Cool. Special project complete. Science officer Tal Zook has managed to partially translate the, in uh, the alien mural discovered on Skiption 6. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes, in broad terms, the collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads for technologies we had yet to consider. There is enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research facility to continue the translation efforts. Okay, so we get plus bonuses to all three of those, and we get 200 experience. That is huge. Where are you? Oh, so you're all the way over there. So that's an incredibly powerful amount of research we're getting there. Or, like, it'd be good to have it. Um, hmm... I guess our ideal route there is to go through Brink. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you finished surveying? Let me just check. No, you haven't. Okay, keep surveying then. That's fine. And we had a level up. Nice. Okay. Let's keep going with this stuff. Uh, nobody's doing Initiating communications. nothing. Form commercial pact. Oh, okay. Here at Commonwealth of Irvolta, we are... Uh, we consistently deliver more for less, and today we would like to offer you a deal you simply cannot refuse. A commercial pact. With us! Tell us you can't refuse. So it increases the value of both of our trade networks, but we don't care about trade, but I guess we'll accept. Because, you know, it will bind us closer. Um, oh yeah, the other thing I was thinking about was... if. Oh yeah, you see that's gone to... That has actually changed, yeah. So I guess this is our X... Oh, I understand this now. I understand this. So this is our XP per month, right? And this affects this number. So this number itself means nothing. 
this is the number that matters. Like, this is the number that's how much we have. This number is how much we are getting per month, and this change is based on our cohesion number, which is another number which is hidden somewhere else, but we can see it by hovering over here. I understand. Okay, that all makes a little bit more sense now. Um, but yes, the thing I was thinking about here was I would love to change this law for who can join. So invite members, I would love that to go to president decides. How can I do that? Centralization would need to be high. How about majority, uh, majority vote? Centralization needs to be lower, higher. Okay, let's have a look at centralization. What can I do about that? Ah, we need to simply have more XP. I think that we should try and get to this. The reason we should try and get to that is because if we can make this majority vote, now the question is, do you need a majority or is it like majority and the president is a deciding vote? Because in that case, if we can get majority vote and then get somebody else in our uh, federation, we can then pretty much be, uh, well, we're pretty much good at that point. Yeah. Well, that's the plan anyway. We'll see how Survey it goes. Survey complete. Ooh, so you found a hard one here. It's going to take a really long time. Let's hold off. So where are you? Ah, you just finished your survey of uh, Zoldar. Ah, we were deciding which one to claim. I would think that we'd want to claim Zoldar now then. Hmm, potentially. And that also gets us this planet. Alright, keep going. Um, we don't necessarily have to claim in, in like one line either. We could, in theory, just claim this one. And then that gives us the rest anyway, eventually, you know. Eventually, we can just go there and get it if there's anything we actually need there. Construction complete. It does mean our borders aren't uh, contiguous, though, which is a little bit ugly. Uh, you've completed the construction of a mining station. Just figuring out what we want to do next, I guess. I guess you could construct... Well, none, these don't really get us a ton. Um, but I guess, actually, yeah, I do want these, so... You can do that one, then that one. That gets us a little bit of energy credits, which we are missing, so... That seems good. Anything else that we need immediately? You've surveyed the Zoldar system, we found an anomaly, and we finished construction. Cool, nothing we need immediately. Cool. Abandoned terraforming equipment. Since our initial settlement of Tal Prime, several anomalies in the planet's biosphere have been discovered. The ecosystem is unstable and is not developed according to projected models for a world of this type. Our scientists suspect outside tampering, and these suspicions have now been confirmed. A few of our colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of the terraforming process, leaving the planet's biosphere in its current unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be able to reactivate the machinery. There's no telling what the end result would be like, however. Oh, I'm in. The, the, uh, Tau Prime has like no... Yeah, this is a terrible world for us. Let's go. Free, I, I want to... I would love to resume the process. Yes. 100%. Let's go. Roll the dice. Don't need to think about it. Complete. Uh, that's our starbase? That is our starbase. I would love another one right there. Can you please grab me that starbase? Thank you. That's what we needed the alloys for. So we can maybe start working on chips again in a minute. Right. Our presence in the galaxy has not gone by unnoticed. Hello, uh, Sildor Sacred Covenant. What a name. Okay. So they are pacifist, but fanatically spiritualist. All right. Interesting. Chief... Uh, Precentor Monak Va and the rest of the Religious Council bid you greetings. We provide spiritual guidance to the Sildor Sacred Covenant, and our stated goals, um, our stated goal is to lead this great nation on a path to salvation. Do not cross this path, and may we live in friendship. Okay, so they really like temples, fully uh, hate fully I write and. They cannot have unrestricted wars, but they can still have wars. Okay. Uh, we have much to learn from each other. How do they feel about us from just a straightforward point of view? Kind of dislike us because we have bombardments allowed. Okay, that's fine. 
I love how much these guys like us. That is fantastic. I would love to get them into our federation. We just need to work on it. Has a Cass's belly on an unidentified empire. Interesting. Anyone else have any of those? No, so they're, they, they're the only ones who know an empire that we don't. Okay. Uh, I would love, if possible, to trade some information. I would love your communications. No way are they giving us communications. All right, well, you know, fair enough, fair enough. Survey complete. It also means that if we want this maelstrom, we have to go for it, like right now. Uh, can you please head immediately over here? Lacking 57. Oh, I guess if it, we don't have star bases on the way, we still have, okay. Maybe we have to, uh, maybe it costs more if you don't have the star bases on the way. Let me have a look. So if I go in here, does it tell me why it costs more? It doesn't. But I have to assume maybe that's the reason. Oh, it's not fully surveyed. Wait a second. Where's the, where's our... Yeah, you. Uh, survey this uh, maelstrom some more. Yeah. Um, where's the equinox? Equinox is over here. Uh, I really should have moved that earlier, I think. Sir, oh, so this one has alien drones. How about survey this one? All the way over there. Right. Um, I think we do want to claim the uh, Kelvan Maelstrom. We just need to work on that a second or two. Uh, so how much does it cost? That's going to cost us 200 odd. Uh, let me just double check something. Oh, may wait. Maybe it costs more because we're over our Empire Sprawl. No. Okay. I was so close. Wait, which one? Which one's doing something? You're doing something here. What are you building? Mining station. Oh, okay. Uh, keep building the mining station, but let me just have a look. So if I wanted to build in here, that costs us so much less. Why does that cost us so much less? How much does it cost us? It doesn't even say. It doesn't even claim that that would cost us anything. The full cost is depending on which star... Oh, maybe this just costs more because as a uh, gateway. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the full reasoning. Okay. Well, when we have an extra 57, we'll, we'll go for it. Borders are closed. Yeah, saw that coming. They don't really like us that much. Uh, they're also really not going to like us when we claim the gateway. Hey, they opened the borders. Never mind. Um, do I want to... I maybe want to just improve relations with these guys, actually, now that I think about it. Um, oh, and they have a Cass's belly on us. Oh. Oh, they're receptive now. Um, I would like to offer a trade deal. I would like your communications link. Okay. Um, and I will give you some food. Everybody loves food. Yeah. I only need to give them 44 food. All right, confirm. Let's see what they think about that first. An alien empire is making contact. Nice, because we've discovered about the uh, Han autocracy. Nice. Ah, uh, close that one. Right, I speak to you on behalf of the Han autocracy, and I have been authorized to bring you greetings. As long as you stay out of our internal affairs and greet our great leader, Emperor Eurolek I, with reverence, I see no reason for our diplomatic relations to sour. So they're authoritarian and also fanatic spiritualists. Wonderful. Um, okay, so we've got a major problem about to happen right there. Okay. Because uh, we've got two fanatic spiritualists, so I would assume that means that they're going to uh, dislike each other due to different religions, maybe? Or maybe it's just the fact that you are a spiritualist at all is good enough for them. Oh, we have enough. Um, stop building that mining station immediately. Go build the starbase. Oh, we need to survey it fully. Ah. Where are you? Wait, what? Oh, right. You, that's where you retreated back to. Crazy. Uh, go survey this one. Yeah. Okay. Go. Survey complete. We've finished our survey. Right. I need you to abandon whatever you're doing and build the starbase. 
Uh, can I get it to abandon current orders? Stop. Yeah. I need it to build this as soon as possible. Right. Because uh, that's a very, very important thing for us right now. Because we don't want them to... They, they definitely show that they are claiming it. So we need to get there first, essentially. Technology discovered. Ooh, what did we discover? Administrative AI. Increased research speed. Nice. Colony development speed sounds nice. Fusion reactor. Energy credits from technicians. Basic combat rules. Hmm. So this one opens power generation one. I like the colony development speed. I think that could be useful early. This fusion reactor sounds like it could be useful. Let's get a fusion reactor going. Uh, right. Go. We still don't have the uh, alloys to actually rebuild our fleet. Okay, so you're finished here. Why don't you survey... Oh, you're already starting there. How about... Yeah, um... How about you survey this one? Not that we actually want it. That's okay. Right. Back over here. Construction complete. Oh, we can finish constructing in Chondar. Um, we don't have a lot of influence, but I'd love to get to that one. So you're... Where are you going? You're, you're going up there. All right. Well, in Chondar then, uh, we can grab some extra... Um, yeah, some extra energy. Cool. Natural wormhole. We've detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edges of the Contham system. A rift in the very fabric of time space is formed here, creating a wormhole that, our scientists speculate, may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in, the ga in our galaxy. Depending on where the second wormhole is located, this could potentially allow ships to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other in a matter of days. Unfortunately, this wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. Any vessels foolish enough to pass through it would be ripped apart in seconds. If it could somehow be stabilized. So there's a wormhole... Wait, where? In the Contham system. Where is the Con... Is this the Contham system? Evading hostiles. Okay, but there's also some ancient mining drones! No! <laughs> there's more ancient mining drones. That's crazy. Okay. How many ancient mining drones can one place have? Alright. Well, they'll be retreating then. Hey, uh, why don't you survey this one? See how that goes. Also, how strong are we compared to our... Uh, we're equivalent to everyone. Uh, okay, that's what I like to see. Oh, wait. Their economic power is superior compared to ours. Apart from that, so they're the only ones that we have a difference, is their economic one slightly better. Okay, that's fine. Don't need to worry too much then. Uh, we're currently at zero here. That's a little bit of a problem. I am building more energy uh, creation though. Do I have somewhere else where I can gain energy? How many pops do I have here? Four. This one unlocks at five, okay. These have upkeep. Ah, that's probably what costs us the extra energy. That's okay. Oh, what have we found? An archaeological dig site over here in Yamal. Okay, fine. Deja Vu Dig. We've discovered an artificial chamber deep beneath the surface. Its purpose and origin is unknown. Okay, cool. Don't need to worry about it. It really does not matter whatsoever to us. Right. Keep going here. Uh, we're about to finish another colony, which is sweet. Ooh, potentially habitable ocean world. Like to see it. Construction complete. Okay, so we just finished uh, one there, which should help us with our energy problem. Um, oh, we've got another energy one we can build here as well. I mean, it's it's only going to give us one in theory, right? Yeah, that should in theory only give us one. But, you know, that's fine. One, one's better than what we had before. Colony oh, it gave us two. Oh, so I guess that actually it doesn't use any energy? Or maybe this one just gave us energy? Ah, we have Aracor built. It is obviously not a great place to be right now, but um, let's get it an agriculture. Oh, we could clear blocker. What does that get us? Uh, max generator districts goes up. Is that the same for all of these? Yeah. 
Um, let's just get an agriculture district going and then a city district. I don't know whether these are good to build, but it sounds good to me. So that's fine. But yeah, it's interesting though that mining doesn't, mining stations don't use uh, energy for ones that generate energy. So that means that the ones that actually have one are probably worthwhile building if we're running low on energy at some point. And we're like, for higher minerals, low on energy, that seems like a good place to go. Which seems to be our permanent state of affairs. They've closed diplomatic, uh, uh not diplomatic, borders, that's the word I was looking for. It's fine. Initiating communications. Offer free, offer migration treaty. The human people should not be prisoners in the Federation, and neither should our own people be limited to inhabit our territory. Let's agree to remedy this. Sure. You know what? I actually agree. I think that we can remedy this. It seems fine. So that means that we are now um, allowing migration between our two places. So we're, we're very close. Like, we could probably have a federation if we didn't have the Vran voting no. Oh, but they will not join the federation with the Vran unity. So they just hate the Vran unity to start with. That's a real problem. Because they love us. They just hate the Vran unity. But the Vran unity also love us. They just hate them. Hmm. So is there a way to make them like each other? Now, that's going to be difficult. How would we do that? Hmm. I should also probably declare rivals at some point, just to be like, hey, I need some extra influence, but I don't really want to be rivals with anyone just this very second. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just check something here with their um, the right to federation. We require excellent or an envoy. Alright, yeah, well, I'll send the envoy because I want to do that anyway. We'll just swap an envoy in. Uh, right. So, suspicious, but the Vran Unity, they would be fine. If they were not suspicious, we only need the 50. And that's very possible to get them in. I mean, yeah, they're not necessarily the best people for our Federation, but they're not the worst people for our Federation. Getting them in would be fantastic. If I could get Sildor in as well, that would be cool. Uh, then we have, like, our borders just filled with Federation members, which is perfect. Uh, I'm going to switch this person over, Ashathon. Yeah. Uh, what what are you thinking about a federation? Minus two thousand will not join a federation with the Vran Unity. That's a real real shame. But these guys, they're cool with the Vran Unity. And that's good complete. for me. Right. Uh, I would love to get that one, but we obviously can't yet. So why don't you head back over here and get us a bit more energy? Yeah. It's not a lot, but it is a nice short journey to get that energy. Where's our one over here? It's just a very long trip, or I, I guess I just detected. pause a lot. Uh, leave that be for just now. Yeah. Keep going. Right. Anything else we're needing to look at? No. Still in, uh, re you know, surveying YAML. Uh, Aracor is building Tal Prime. We actually just lost a pop here. Why did we lose a pop? I guess because it's garbage place to be. Um, but maybe we lost a pop because of the migration. Uh, that's possible. Do we have anyone who's migrated? I could look at my species, couldn't I? Only humans. See, if there was anyone else, I assume it would have others. I, I also assume the Vran Unity cannot have people migrate. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, because they're a hive mind. That just doesn't work. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'd like to think of you as honorary members of the Vran Unity. I like that. Um, I would like to offer you a trade deal. Uh, no, I would love... Wait, okay. We already have... Oh, because we're in a federation, we already have full sense of you, of course. Uh, in which case, what do I want? I was just thinking I should get something, but I don't need anything from them. Oh, alloys, yeah. Actually, if I could grab a bunch of your alloys, that would be fantastic. How many are you willing to give up? You're not willing to give up any alloys. Oh, five? Beyond that, you're not interested. All right, four alloys. I'd like four alloys for four food. 10 food. All right, you drive a hard bargain. 13 food. What what an amazing trade deal. Art of the deal right there. Perfect. Anomaly detected. Hey, it's easy. 
We stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this moon. It appears to be a small object in space that may contain... Oh, it contains no message, but could it be a distress transponder? Yeah, go find that out. Okay, so I think we had this one before and we it ended up being the Grand Unity ship. And then we got some extra opinion and a favour. Ah. The Commonwealth of Ir Voltaz declared the Vran Unity as their rival. That's a real problem for us. Uh, the mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species has, have been found drifting in high orbit over Hitharava. The being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit complete with a helmet and maybe a fighter pilot that ejected in some ancient battle only to be forgotten and left behind. Our study of the corpse has provided some interesting data. Ah, so we get some society data. Uh, some so society um, research points. That's the word I was looking for. Survey complete. All right, nice survey. Oh, is that properly habitable? 80%? Ooh, I really need to get there. But also, nobody else can access the Shadow Nebula currently, so it's not a hugely urgent thing. Although they might be able to access from this direction. Yeah, go, go have a look at this black hole. See if we what we can find. It may become very urgent. So that might be the edge of our uh, empire. Well, federation. Empire is a bad word to use. Yeah, so yeah they declared the uh, rival back, I believe. I could be wrong. That's why I read Construction it. complete. Uh, you finished the mining station? Awesome. Uh, can you get me another... Um, yeah, can you get me a research station here? Perfect. Okay, it's really small. Give me a second. Perfect, right. So that's them building that. We have discovered a new archaeological dig site. Where? Uh, over here. Cool. Right. Uh, ooh, we also... Was that... Oh, I thought it was another planet there. This is saying, do not ha go for this planet. It's bad. It's really bad. Just don't do it. That's what that's telling me. Ah, we're finally building our star base in uh, the Kelvan Ma Maelstrom. That's going to be a uh, bold survey one. complete. Hey, we finished uh, surveying the uh, Gindor black hole. Wonderful. Uh, survey here. If I just keep heading this way, we should find another um, nation, hopefully. Or another whatever you call them. Another contact. Yeah, I guess another contact, we'll say. Another um, race, another species. Trying to find the right term. See, in Crusader Kings, I could say Realm, Survey and EU4, complete. you'd go Nation. Same for many others, you could say Country. Doesn't really work in space, any of those. Right, finish there. Um, kind of see where this leads on from. Like, maybe up here? Oh, actually, no, this is just an edge, isn't it? So it won't lead anywhere. Yeah, uh, just start surveying more. Yeah, see what we got there. I would love to claim that one. Construction Wonderful. complete. Uh, and the reason I want to claim that one is that gives us access to a lot of stuff we wouldn't otherwise have access to. It does increase our uh, administrative stuff, but that's okay. That one, I think, is the last one we're claiming down here right now. And that should... I mean, I guess if I claimed this one as well, that does block them from being able to expand this way. Which is potentially good. Complete. Nice. Okay, love it. So we've got this one. We also just finished our survey. I think it's time to come back a bit. Maybe survey this one over here. Question is, do we want to work our way back? Potentially we do. Want to work our way back and build star bases on the way back? Um, We don't have the influence to build them. So right now we should just start building uh, science, uh, research stations and get all of the science that we can get. Yeah, I think that's the right way to play that. Okay. So we've got our little star base all the way out there. Ne near the wormhole. You know, what's weird is I was... Um, I've been watching a lot of Deep Space Nine. And I saw the wormhole and was like, Oh, I, okay. We have, we have some stuff there that I could look at. It's it's getting, getting familiar. Then we have the very religious people who are next to the wormhole. And I'm going, oh, okay then. Yeah, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, well, now I've built my star base over here. We've, we've got our deep space station. The saying, it's all it's all coming together. Although, it's of course, it's not actually the Federation sta uh, station, but hey, whatever. Doesn't need to be 100% perfect for uh, my mind to make connections there. 
Right, let's end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.